Merry Christmas, y'all. It's David here. Welcome to another devotional Saturday. It is Christmas 2021. I uh, hope you guys haven't been too busy and hope you guys have been focusing on what actually matters, which is Jesus and people. Okay. Um, I know for me, this time of year, it's just crazy. And uh, yeah, it's just always busy, busy, busy. And today's devotional is going to talk about this, um, which I feel a lot of people feel this way. Um, so I'm just going to get right into it so then you can go off with your families. All right. It is titled Lasting Meaning from Luke chapter 2, verse 14. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, goodwill towards men. A man by the name of A.F. Wells once stated, Take Christ out of Christmas and December becomes the bleakest and most colorless month of the year. If you've ever celebrated Christmas without understanding its true meaning, that statement probably rings eerily true. Many people go through the motions of the holidays, buying gifts, baking cookies, and sending Christmas cards. But after all said and done, they are left with a longing in their hearts, a vast emptiness that was not filled by all the merriment of the season. December becomes a month in which credit cards and stress levels are maxed out. And though precious memories are made on Christmas morning, there is no lasting meaning for the celebration. For Christians, however, Christmas is a time to celebrate and rejoice that Jesus came down in the form of a baby and brought salvation to an undeserving world. Today, focus your thoughts on the only true and lasting meaning of Christmas, that Christ came down from heaven to bring us gifts that remain even after the day is over. Hope, peace, and love. And a little uh, singing by a uh, Jeannie C. Oblique, Obreach. I can't pronounce her name. Sorry. The birth of Jesus, Savior, Messiah, Lord, translates all that is shabby, despairing, and dying into newness, joy, and life. And it is true. And I still go through these motions in the sense of with Christmas time. I always think, oh, I'm going to do something, do whatever. And it never happens. It's always about, oh, people want gifts and this and that. What are you going to get somebody? Um, and right here, you know, it talks about that. People want to do this. It longs in their hearts. And then afterwards, it's emptiness. You know, they're stressed out. They have their bills. Because swipe that thing on a credit card. You know, it doesn't hurt up until you get that bill. It's like, oh, that's a month later. So now you're in January, starting the new year off with bills. Um, that's true. But Jesus is what we have to keep our focus on every single day, not just one day a year. You know, we don't know when he was born. This is the day we celebrate it, um, that God gave us Jesus. But so every single day, just think about the Lord Jesus. Dwell on him. Um, give him give Him your everything, guys. And if you haven't, uh, just say, you know what, for this year, uh, coming up of 2022, just just give them your everything. Give them your thoughts, your mind, your speech, your actions, your body, everything, and allow him to use you for his kingdom. All right? It's very difficult, but uh, you can do it by the Holy Spirit, or the strength of the Holy Spirit. All right? So that's really all I got for you today. Again, just dwell on that, guys, what, what the Lord has done for us. Um, so it's been just incredible. So, all right, well, go to your families. Uh, if you don't have family, if, um, you know, if you need to reach out to me, reach out to me. You know, I'll be happy to talk to you. So that's all I got. Until next time, I love you. Peace. I'm out.